Most people don't use PFSense as their main router not because it is bad but because they are either don't know the power of PFSense or they are thinking like it is too complicated to install and configure PFSense on their home network. And because of that, I will show you guys in this video how easily you can install PFSense on your home network and configure and manage it properly. So in this setup, I will install PFSense on my old laptop. One built-in Ethernet LAN port I will connect to my ISP modem which will use for WAN. The other LAN port is through a USB to LAN adapter will connect to a regular Wi-Fi router. But here I will not use router WAN port. Instead, I will use my router as a network switch and Wi-Fi access point. And that is why I will connect the Ethernet to my LAN port. So all the devices connected to the router, whether WAD or wireless, will have to go through the PFSense firewall first. In simple words, all the traffic your devices passes through PFSense before reaching the internet and giving you full control over security, DNS, ad blocking and more. So at first you need to open your browser and search for PFSense. Go to that pfsense.org website. Click on this download button over here on your right side corner and here you will see the latest stable version which is 2.7.2. Uh, now click on download button and here you just need to select the image type. Now select the first one which is memstick USB. After that quantity select one and after that click on add to cart. Don't worry it is free. So simply click on enter cart. Now what you have to do, click on checkout. Now here I will click on create an account over here on your right side corner. Now put your first name, anything over here, last name, then email address. Then put the password. Now click on create. After that, as you can see, it is showing like. So what you have to do, simply you need to uh, click on this check button over here, terms and condition. And here you just need to fill up with your uh, details. So, so select your country region. And after done, you just need to click on complete the order. After that, over here, you will get the download link. So you have to wait for a few seconds. Now click on this download now button. And as you can see, it is downloading. So now you need to open Zufus after download netgate. Simply open Zufus. So if you don't know how to uh, download and install Rufus, simply open your browser, type Rufus and search on Google, go to Rufus.io website and after that scroll down and you will get option called standard over here, simply download that one, that .exe file. After download, you need to install that one and open Rufus software. Now here you need to insert your USB pen drive. So as you can see here is my 64 GB USB pen drive. Now as you can see here is here is a netgate uh, IMG file which I have downloaded from netgate website. Simply right click on it and click on uh, extract all. Okay after extract extract you will get uh, IMG file. Okay simply you need, you need you need to select that IMG file. Simply click on select. and select that ISO file okay sorry IMG file and click on open after that click on start okay and okay now it will take a few minutes so after done you need to close this window and simply right click on your USB pen drive and click on eject and after that you need to uh, boot from that USB pen drive to your old laptop or PC where you want to install PFSense and now I will insert that USB bootable pen drive to my old laptop 
And now I will insert the ISP internet cable to my laptop in wheel LAN port. Here I am using this small device a C type 2 LAN converter which gives me extra LAN port on my laptop and I will connect this directly to one of, uh, one of the LAN port of my router. Now here is my router as you can see so I will connect that LAN cable to my LAN port as you can see. At this point you need to set up few things on your router. If your router support access point mode then enable access point mode settings. If AP mode means access point mode isn't available on your router then disable DHCP on your router first. After that set the router IP something like 192.168.1.2 because my PFSense LAN IP is 192.168.1.1. If you'll set the same IP which is PFSense IP 192.168.1.1 then the IP will conflict and rest of LAN port on my router I will use to connect my other devices on my network which I'll show you later. And now you need to boot from your USB bootable pen drive on your laptop or PC. Now you need to press enter key from your keyboard to accept the terms and conditions. Press enter to install pfSense. Now you just select the WAN interface, in my case it is RE0. If your ISP gives you a static IP address then you have to go to interface mode and after that change to DHCP to static and put your IP address over there. In my case I am using DHCP so I will press enter to continue. Now I have to select the LAN interface, in my case it is UE0. Here you can see my LAN IP address which I will connect to my router. The IP address is 192.168.1.1. Press enter to continue. Here I am using PFSense free version, so I don't have any PFSense plus subscription. So I will directly install CE version. Now press enter to continue. Now here you need to select the disk or storage drive where you want to install PFSense. In my case it is 224GB hard drive so I will select that one. Just press down arrow key and press space button from your keyboard and press enter. And now you need to select the PFSense CE version which you want to install. So I will use the current stable version which is 2.7.2. Now you need to remove your USB pen drive from your laptop or PC and after that press enter to reboot the system. Now here you need to press enter button from your keyboard. Now you need to type your WAN interface name. In my case it is RE0. So I'll type and press enter. Next I need to type the LAN interface name which is in my case UE0. And after that press enter. Now you need to type Y and press enter to save the changes. After that as you can see the configuration is completed successfully and now I'll connect my LAN PC to the router LAN port through Ethernet. So here is my Windows machine which I have connected through router. So simply what I have to do is to access PFSense. Simply I will go to start window and type ncpa.cpl and after that right click on my Ethernet card and go to properties and on this window double click on IPv4 address and click on choose following IP address. So as you know I have already disabled DSCP server on my uh, router so I will I have to put manually the IP address which is 192.168 one range of IP after one I will put any IP like 12 11 whatever 
you want after that subnet marks it will be it is uh, 255.255.255.0 now the gateway i'll put over here the pf since ip okay and the dns server can put anything like i will use here google dns you can use your pf since ip also after that click on ok then click on ok as you can see it is showing like identifying so you have to wait for a few minutes now as you can see it is showing network connected now open your browser and you need to type over here pfsense ip address which is 192.168.1.1 uh, and go to advanced and click on proceed after that username is admin and the password is pfsense so type over here and click on sign in after that click on next after I get this pfsense setup page and hostname i will not change anything so i'll click on next you can use any dns server over here so i'll use here google dns you can choose any dns server and after that click on next now here it is showing time zone click on next on this window no need to change anything click on next the lan ip over here is showing and here you can change your you have to change your uh, admin password so i'll put the same password which is pfsense and after that click on reload it will take few seconds so you have to wait for a few seconds and click on finish through pfsense you can do lots of stuff like ad blocking where you can block most of the ads of all your devices on your network using pf blocker ng or dns filtering next is you can do parental controls like restrict all the website or content for your kids and guests also you can do traffic monitoring using pfsense which is help you to check your bandwidth in real time. So before ending this video, I would like to big thanks to all my channel members, a special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.